Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals. Today, we're going to get a hell of a lot stronger. So let's do that right now. Okay, now we're a hell of a lot stronger than we were before. Um, we jumped up roughly 10 levels, and um, I also got new equipment for my characters. Let's start out with Guy. I traded the shields that him and Maxim had. Now now Guy has a kite shield, Maxim has a round shield. I gave him the bronze helmets. Um, which gives you the IP ability Menace, reduces your the enemy's attack power by one eighth, which is pretty nice. Not really gonna go over accessories with anyone. Um, now for Salon, I gave her the tight dress. Doesn't have it. Uh, I I don't really care about that IP ability. Uh, she has the anger brace, and I gave her a beret, which gives you the sluggish IP ability, which reduces the enemy speed. Gonna need that for the upcoming boss fights. Uh, I'm going to switch this accessory out for something else, but we haven't got that accessory yet. Um, it's, in this t it's in this tower, so... Okay, now for Tia, I gave her the Holy Wings and the Beret. The also, I'm going to need that for her as well, for the boss fights. And I've got her a very important ring, um, the Mine Ring. Uh, it has a stronger IP, IP ability. We're not going to get that um, spell for a long time, so it's good for now. And this mine ring I actually missed in the sword shrine. It was um, in a secret passage that I missed, but anyway. Uh, for Maxim, I gave him the Fury Helmets, which also has Menace on it. Um, it's got the round shield. Yeah, so that's pretty much all the equipments. I'll go through it again just so you can see what you, want, what we need, what you need to get. Alright. Now before I do the tower, I'm going to briefly go over the stuff that I did to get this good. So let's start off by going to the place where I level grinded. Okay, here's where I level grinded. Um, this area, really, really good for level grinding. Now, I know this is kind of cheap, but I do, when I level grind in emulator games, I use a fast forward state, like this, and I hold on a turbo button, and it just attacks them really quickly. And I'm going to keep doing this for a little bit. Until I get the enemy, the special enemies that I, these guys. Okay, these guys are called red cores. They're they're just like the metal the metal slimes from Dragon Warrior, which give you a hell of a lot of XP after battle, but they run away quickly. And we're gonna get this guy. Don't worry. If he doesn't run away, he's pretty much dead. Yeah, he gives it like 2200, yeah, 2222 XP. And if you just do this for like an hour, just do this for like an hour, you'll, you'll, you'll level up in no time. But um, now we're going to go to, t to um, Sundleton, and we're going to upgrade the capsule monster, Blaze. Alright, let's go to the shop here, and let's buy some battle knives. Got to buy 30 of them. And we also got a shitload of gold. From out level grinding. All right, now let's upgrade Blaze. Feed him some battle knives. And I'm gonna speed the process up a bit. Ah, look at that turbo button. All right. Okay. Now let's go to the to the tea shop and get an apple cider. Thirty apple ciders. Cause we're gonna upgrade them again. All right, let's get thirty of them. Okay. There we go. Alright, now Blaze is like three times as strong as it was before. Um, he now has um, Fang Attack and Iron Claw, and those are really good attacks. Fire Elemental. Alright, um, I'm going to go buy some antidotes really quick. And I'm not going to show you the places where I got all the equipment from. Um, all you have to do is just go on GameFAQs.com and find them 
in the walkthroughs there. That's what I did. Um, I'll buy 30 of them. Why not? And let's start my inventory. Okay. Now we're going to head to the uh, Cordovan West Tower. Do the dungeon. Okay, let's do the tower now. We'll be able to blow through this pretty easily. Be able to one shot most of the enemies, which is really great. And Tia is pretty strong now. Ooh, look at that damage from Blaze 69. See, I'm sorry I didn't have a video out yesterday. I just, um, just, uh, had to take a lot of time to work all this out. Level grind to 31, get all the equipments and stuff, and figure out how I'm going to upgrade Blaze. Took a lot of time. But now I'm here, so we gotta, I think we gotta get this guy to go on the switch there. Ah, come on. Okay, now let's freeze him. With an arrow. There we go. Fight this guy. Ah. <sighs> yeah, I'm never level grinding like that ever again. That's like the third time I've done that. Like I did it the first time, my first playthrough, the second playthrough I did it, now I'm doing it for this playthrough. It's a lot of work. But it's a lot faster with the fast forward state and the turbo button. See, these, these ogres no, stand no chance against me now. Alright, let's go up here. Yeah, the accessory I'm looking for for Salon is called the Muscle Ring. Um, that's... It, I think that increases your defense, not sure. But I need it anyway. And this is a new enemy here, the Fighter Orc. Not that bad. And, uh, Guy's pretty strong now. But I can't wait for the, new bo the next boss battle. This will be fun to record. Kill this guy. Yeah, I can I can just blow through these battles pretty quickly now. I don't even have to edit out a lot of them anymore. Because from here on, I'm going to be pretty OP for the rest of the game. Because I'm like 10 levels ahead of the normal level. And I don't recommend getting to level 31. You could probably do this at like level 25. Uh, but I'll explain why I level grind so much in the next video. Don't want to spoil it. Alright, takes care of him. Okay, let's go out here. Oh, this puzzle, I remember this. Uh, can, they, can, can they be triggered by bombs? Oops. No. Okay, uh... Oh, I know what to do. There we go. Uh, okay, corridor out. No, no. Ah. Sorry, I gotta rewind. I don't know which way the switch was. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh. How do I get through here? Hmm. Okay, let's fight these guys here. Okay, uh. How do you pronounce those? Antares? Okay. Let's use Spark on them. Why not? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I got the turbo button on the R button. So I gotta change that. Because I use the R button too much in this game. Well, I guess they're not weak to fire. Oh well. Ugh, poison. Not sure what scissors does. I don't know what that attack does. I think it just like lowers your HP by a certain amount. Don't know. Okay, let's go outside. Yeah, that that thing lowered here. Uh let's go in here. 
Uh, I'll f you know, I'm not gonna fight them. I don't even need to. Okay, wh let's go up here. Oh, not this puzzle. Uh, I gotta get this thing here. Oh, I messed this up. Yeah, I gotta turn that turbo button off. Up oh, can't go this way yet. Okay, let's go this way. Fight these guys, why not? Yeah, they're a new enemy. Red Lobster and Evil Shell. That's just physical attack. Why not? Ooh, look at that damage. Ouch, 255. That that enemy is definitely weak to fire. <laughs> they're both weak to fire. Okay, let's go upstairs. Ah, uh, this puzzle here. Ah, uh, we can't do anything here yet. Gotta go out here. What's this? Ah, oh, got the hook! Awesome. Let's read the thing on the wall here. The hook will hook onto pillars and stakes so you can be pulled towards them. Hooks take you to the other side of the cha chasms. Chasms, or whatever. Hitting monsters with the hook paralyzes them. Okay. Let's switch to them. Now this is turning into Zelda. Uh, yeah, I gotta reset the room here. I think. No, I don't. Uh, oh, I know what to do. Push that there. And then hooked over here. Push that away. Now we're good to go. I'll avoid... Or not. Uh, surprise attack. And I gotta take um, poison off of Maxim. What am I doing? Alright, let's cast Spark on them. Oops, it did messed up again. Alright. That should take them out. Yeah, that damage is pretty OP. And that should finish them off here. Okay. Let's go up. No, let's not go upstairs yet. So. Balls. <sighs> oh my god. 51 damage from Tia. Wow. Just die. Thank you. Alright, let's take uh, poison off of Max in there. Alright. Let's, let's go upstairs. Okay, what's in here? Oh, can't go through there yet. Ooh, elevator. Let's go through this way first. Ugh. Wow, I just went in a circle. Oh well. Alright, let's get on the elevator, why not? Oh wait, no, let's go through here. Put a bomb there. Okay, what did that do? I know I can go out here. What's this? Okay, uh... Ooh, save tile. Uh, I'll save my game, why not? Alright, what's out here? Ooh, switch. Awesome. Okay, now let's, uh... Yeah, let's... I don't want to fight you. Yeah, let's use the elevator now. Uh, let's go to the fourth floor. Okay, that's not. Oop. What's down here? Ah, I didn't mean to fight them. Oh well, it's just one guy. <sighs> Ooh, treasure. 
Oh, I got a miracle. Nice. Alright, let's uh, go out here. I can't go through there just yet. Alright, let's uh... Oh! Yeah, I'm running away. Forget this. I don't want to fight them. Don't have the time to. Right, let's go to the third floor now. Alright, what's over here? Uh, actually, you know, that's 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 about all the time I have left this episode of Let's Play Lufia 2: Rise of the Sinistrals. When we come back, we're gonna get to the top of the tower. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.